it's your girl Jay and today I am here with my October favorites for 2019. I'm fully aware that it is basically the end of November, but the beginning of November was very rough for me, so we're finally in the mood to film again, so bear with me. This is October favorites, so you'll get your November favorites, which there are not a lot of them shortly. So without further ado, let us get started. So I usually start off the videos talking about experiences. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is Cirque. I went to Cirque du Soleil with my mom for my birthday. Every single Cirque du Soleil performance has some story that goes along with it. So the one that we went to was Allegria. I personally love Cirque du Soleil. I just love acrobatics and like all the flips and just the storytelling. I think it's great. So we picked up a memorative hat for it. I have a vlog where you can like see a little bit of it, but you're not allowed to film in the show. So it's just like the opening act when all the actors come out and kind of like play with the audience. So I'll link that down below if you're interested in it. But highly recommend you check out a Cirque du Soleil performance because they're always really great. The next thing I want to talk about is my placement for Teachers College. If you guys are not aware how Teachers College works, basically you have lectures for four days of the week and then you have one day when you're placed in a classroom and you get to like observe a teacher teaching and like try to learn from them and then later on you end up being the teacher for that classroom but I am in a 4-5 split class and I absolutely adore all the kids. It's really funny because I work at the rec center right across the street from the school that I'm placed at so I walked into the classroom and a bunch of the kids just like screamed my name and they were like Jay! So they all know me from over there, so it's kind of great because I already have like a relationship with them from work. It's kind of weird though because I'm like supposed to be their teacher, but I'm so used to like treating them like little friends. So it's been a challenge, but I really enjoy it. They're adorable. They all call me Miss J and I just love being there. So that's definitely been like a highlight for me and like keeping me going because teachers college is not a good time. So I guess we can like segue into clothing since it like kind of has to do with my teachers college. I got a Brock sweater. I won a raffle at my school for a sweater. They're usually $60. I got it for free so I love it even more because you know you always like free stuff more. I also picked up a hat with my own money. I spent money. At it just says Brock. I think it's super cute. I just really like hats, so I collect a lot of them. Do I wear them? Not often, but you know, options are good. October was my birthday month. I got a lot of presents. I um, put a lot of them away because they were from my ex-boyfriend, so I don't want to look at them right now. <laughs> but I did get one from my mom that I use like daily. It is this giant ass sweater. It literally just looks like a blob of maroon fabric, but it's called a comfy sweater and it basically is a blanket in sweater form and I love it so much. It's a like 5XL men I think it's based off of. So it is giant but it is the most cozy and comfiest thing and it's gotten me through a lot of rough nights recently. So we really love that. So thanks mom, you're also a favorite. And then also for my birthday, one of my subscribers, Jonathan, sent me this pop socket and I absolutely love it. It says the awkward bookworm on it and I just think it's like super cute. I actually got a new phone so this case doesn't fit on it and I don't have a case for my new phone yet. So it's just on my old phone but I still use this phone to like watch YouTube videos and stuff so it comes in handy to have the pop socket on it. But I'm hoping once I get a case for my new phone that I'll transfer it over. But thank you so much to Jonathan because I actually really love it. Next thing I got was this money jar from my mom. There's a store called Green Earth in our mall, but it closed down. But they used to sell these and we always thought they were like super cool and like just like looked really awesome. So we found one in a thrift store for like three dollars or something so my mom was like I'm getting it for you I don't care so now I have it I love it it just sits on my bookshelf over there it's just like a decorative thing I don't actually put money in it because it's one of those ones that you have to break in order to get the money out and I don't want to break it because I think it's really pretty next thing I got was a Funko Pop are we really surprised because I buy like at least five 
every month but the one that I'm like obsessed with is Sven from Frozen. He is my favorite character other than Olaf but I got an Olaf pop like a long long time ago. I love the new Olaf pop because it is just so cute but I had to choose between Sven and Olaf and I already had an Olaf one so we got Sven but I think he is so cute. He looks like a little baby and I just oh love him. Also like super excited for Frozen 2 to come out. Yes I know I'm a child but I have no yes. shame. The last thing on my list is a book Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahern. I filmed a full review of this. I gave it five out of five stars but I have not edited it because we've been in a little rut in life right now okay. So eventually it'll be up but I absolutely loved this book. I thought it was like super atmospheric. I love the main character Lou. She's so feisty and badass and I just like want to be her because she's so feisty and badass. But I highly recommend the book. I know a lot of people had a lot of problems with it but I was a huge fan so take that as you will. Alright everybody so those were my October favorites for 2019. I didn't talk about music because we're still just listening to Taylor Swift like usual and John Bellion like usual so... Let me know down below a couple of your favorites, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!